Welcome to accessing your doctor's office via the patient portal. This is for the new version 5. My name is Dr. William Biggs from Amarillo Medical Specialists. From the convenience of your home, you can now look via the internet at most of our information in our office. You can send us messages, request a new appointment, ask for med refills, look at your lab results, get email reminders for your appointments, and check your statement. You can also look at your personal health record, manage your personal information, and download a health record that you can share with other doctors. So, how do you get this set up? Simply ask our front desk staff to add you to the portal at a visit or call us and we'll verify your information. We'll need your email address. You can now go to website amspatients.com or amarillopatients.com. Enter the username and password that we gave you. So let's start that. We'll use amarillopatient.com, and here's the introduction screen. We'll sign in with the username over here in the upper right, and this is an example patient, so it doesn't have any actual real data, and we'll type in the password and click on login. You'll first see there's a notice from our practice, and you can scroll down and look to see what our message says. You can click the more button at the bottom. You can look at more of the message, and it may have information on how best to use our portal. Let's go back to the main part of our portal. Let's look at the lab results. The most recent lab results are going to be here with a link, so you can simply click on them from the main page and look at the results along with the reference range. If we want to look at all of the labs, click the All My Labs button, and you'll see a chronological listing of all the, medicine, all the labs that we've done on you since we started with our electronic system. If we want to say, look at all of our medications, here's the medicine list that we have on file for you. You can ask for refills by clicking the refills that you want. Make sure that you want it to go to the correct pharmacy. If you've changed pharmacies, we may not have that on file. So go through our list of the most commonly requested pharmacies and type in how many refills that you want. You can type in something like one year, or six months, 99 refills. And when you're all done, uh, go down here to the bottom, put in your contact number in case we have any questions. And if you have any comments like need it right away or just need this sometime in the next month, then you can do that and then click submit. And that will go to our the nurse that is attached to your care team. Let's go back to the main menu again. And let's say we want to look at a statement. The most recent statement here is going to be under statement details. If for any reason you want to look at an old statement, you can go back to that section, look at view all statements. We also have referrals. If you need a referral for your insurance plan, it will be listed here. You can also navigate on the left hand side with a dashboard and look at my account. This will have your personal information, so if it needs to be updated, go ahead and update it and it will send it directly to our office to, for inclusion in your chart. This is where you reset your password if you don't like your current password. And in their messages, obviously this is where all the messages come. The refill requests, lab requests and referral are similar to the same screen that you've already seen. So let's go down and look at appointments. Now I don't have a current appointment for this patient and it tells me at the top you don't have any current appointments. If I want to get an appointment, we can simply go ahead and request that or look at all of our historical appointments for the last five years. If we want to see what our personal health record looks like, let's look at the, the view, actually, the personal health record view. We can look at our allergies. And you can scan down through here to see if everything is accurate. Is your problem list accurate? Do we need to add something or subtract something? So accuracy of your record is very important to us, so let us know if it's not right. This also has things such as your vital signs at each of your visits, your medication list again. We can look at your immunization history, so we can tell when you got your last flu shot or pneumonia shot. The labs are the same as what we saw before. Here's your social history, so if that needs to be changed or updated, again, let us know at your next visit. And your family history. Finally, if we uh, want to download a complete health record in the continuity of care record, 
we can look at this and then click download and in the bottom left you'll see PHR 8 down here at the very bottom left. Uh, you can go to your download section of your browser and find that XML file and take it to one of your other doctors and they can import it into your record and it will include all of this information into your other doctors records as well. If you want to see our external website this is our amarillomed.com under our practice details. And then finally remember to sign out for the security of your system. Thanks again for watching our portal introduction. We appreciate you coming to our office and we're honored that you chose our medical group for your care. This is Dr. William Biggs from Amarillo Medical Specialists.